Okay, I'm turning on audio, and I'll go ahead and turn off the uh, the overlay. We're not quite ready to start yet, but we're getting pretty close. Um, so I will just... Um, oh, that's fantastic. I actually that... Sorry, that was to somebody who can't... Um, who you can't see, so that doesn't really help. Okay, uh, so we're still getting... I'm still getting ready for the last few steps here. But hopefully they will be... Um, Hopefully they won't be too... Again, I kind of regret having started the stream uh, before uh, getting completely set up because it means I have to babble incoherently. Um, but, you know, I babble incoherently anyway. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at our README stream for today. We're not quite there yet, but very soon we will be. And, okay, actually we're, we're good. Okay, hello and welcome to the stream. Um, if anybody is here, that uh, person who was... If the person I was speaking with in a different place wants to reveal themselves, please do so. But if you don't, that's cool too. Um, so what we were doing last time um, is we'd set up a... Uh, we'd sort of started to set up an API that read data from a population count file that I had created from a population counting site. And we tested this by drawing out a picture uh, to make sure that the, um, the site, uh, that the data that we got, you know, th that, the, um, that what we got from the data looked sort of like what we'd expect population counts to look like. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we did last time because I, I forgot. Because, you know, that's, I'm kind of stupid. Um, uh, let's see. It would be kind of good if I could actually find this. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, yeah, this was it. So this might actually not work. In fact, now that I think about it, it's not going to work, so I should probably stop it. Okay, that bizarrely worked. But how? Wait. Um, okay. Now I'm confused because it did work. Because the file that it's accessing, uh, this file here, is actually on a double mount. Um, and I would have thought that mount would have died uh, when the regular mount died. But apparently, that is just freaking amazing. In fact, I'm, I'm suspicious now. Um... of how that happened. Well, I, okay, well, I guess don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, uh, so today we're going to actually be looking at, I actually did the same thing to a couple of more other files, one for population density and the other for solar energy. There's going to be a problem when we do the one for solar energy, and I'm aware of this problem, uh, so when that occurs, we will look at it and we'll see what's wrong with it. And what's going to be wrong with it is, the solar energy data I have doesn't cover the entire world. The people who collected it only collected it between certain latitudes. So when we, if we try pretend like it's the whole world, we're going to have some problems. Uh, but, but first, before we do any of that, I'm going to change this function around a little bit because right now it's pretty hard-coded to population count, as you can see. And in fact, there's something else I'd like to do, um, which I guess will break... Um, hmm. Okay, actually, it might not break that. Um, and the other thing is I'd like to do is I'd like to move all the squash files that I have, the squash file systems. Right now, they're sort of uh, all over the place uh, on my main machine, but I'd like to get them in one place because that, that's the kind of data that's going to go over to my server, and my server's going to squash mount it. And at some point, of course, I'm going to combine that because we don't really want three file, three different file systems running around. Um, so I'm going to try doing that now for my other machine. I'm going to um, I'm going to see if I can create something called Squash. I mean, I can obviously. Um, and then I'm going to move some of the other data that we had uh, from these other Squash systems into here, and then relink. It's going to be it's going to be messy. It's going to take a couple of minutes here. 
Um, but I'll, I'll babble through it. Okay. And here we have pop count. Oh, actually, they're in the same place, so... Okay, so change of plans, as I change my mind every few tenths of a second. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is make this program more general so it doesn't rely on a single file. In fact, you should be able to open any file that you want. To do that, uh, and this is safe to git in case I screw this up totally, uh, we're going to actually try to pass in a file handle. We're going to not, in this file here that's um, lat long to pop count, we're going to change this lat long to data. And we're going to assume that a um, we're going to assume that we're going that the file handle is passed in as part of this hash. Now, how do we do that? You may ask. And I have no freaking idea is what I would answer because I really don't. But let's see what we can do. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open the same file. Um, Except I'm going to call it data instead of pop count. Uh, and in this case, it'll happen to be the population count data, because that's just some data we have lying around. Um, now the question is, I most languages uh, treat file handles as integers. I mean, they don't say it necessarily, but uh, but let's see if this that's what... Um, did I just have to do print? Wow. So I think this is going to just be a constant, but let's find out. By the way, it's times like this that make me feel that a... Oh, okay. That's not exactly what I wanted, but okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's just see if we can... Um, God damn it. I do not necessarily want to do this, because that, that if I did this in angle brackets, has a different meaning. We'll try to read data from that. So... So far, not great, but all right, hash fh equals data. So this says the file handle uh, is data, and then we're just going to look at, go over here and call our function lung lat to data with this hash. Could do like that. Okay. So now the question is, and I'm going to just do a very quick die testing here because we're not ready to run the rest of this. So now the question is, can I can I read from data? Um, I guess all the rest of this is good, but I, I really just right now want to see if I can. Hello, Alien Bridge. Welcome to the channel. I I am glad that you are here. Um, this project here is I'm trying to create, I'm trying to uh, serve some data from my server using an API. So in order to do that, I've taken data that I have and I've compressed it uh, into uh, binary files. And so what this program will do, hopefully BC read bin file, is read those binary files and convert that data back into floating point data or whatever it is we need so that when people request it, they can get what they want. Um, the particular data we're looking at right now is population count around the world. And assuming it still works, I can show you this thing that really looks cooler than it is. Um, oops, it didn't work anymore. Um, oh, you did. You went over uh, population count data, pop population um, count data, or just you mean in general, GIS in general? And I don't, I don't think you can scroll back in the stream, but I actually had a sort of a cool map uh, going here. But, um, but I'm, I, I quote unquote fixed things, so it's broken now. Um, okay, so right now what I'm doing in Perl is I'm trying to see if I can. Uh, the problem is the program I, I wrote yesterday or last time I was streaming. Uh, I am going to ignore Pomodoro because it is the first time. Uh, so ignore. I'm going to ignore UniteBot. Um, I did this previously, but I had it hard-coded to population count. So now we're going to still test with population count, but we're going to make it more generic so that we can put in population density. Uh, and the thing after population density will be uh, solar energy 
received around the world, how much solar energy different parts of the world get. Uh, and we have other stuff. We have land use, climate, we have other data that we could be using, but this is the data that we're, we're trying to generalize the, this program to read any form of data. So the first question is, can I uh, pass uh, file handles in Perl? And, well, let's, let's see if we can. So hash file handle. I'm going to try using the seek command. I'll just go to byte one, two, three. It doesn't really matter here because um, we're, it's not going to actually do anything. <laughs> and then we're just going to read eight bytes of data for no good reason. And then we're going to see if this works. And with, by the way, 99% of the, I don't know if you've watched my previous streams, but 99% of the time stuff I do doesn't work. So I would not be surprised if this did not work, but let's see what error messages we get. Holy crap, it worked. Okay, I'm so shocked now. Mood. Okay, good word mood. Um, might want to give me a little bit more on that, but but okay. Unless you heard a cow or something and it mooed, but that's... It's a mood that it never works. Oh! Yeah, it's more, it's more experience that tells me that it never works. Uh, and partly, although you're not allowed to say it, um, partly it's because I know that if I say it's gonna work, it won't for sure. By saying it doesn't work, there's a chance that it does work, like it has here. Well, that actually makes things quite a bit easier, though. Um, because that means the rest of this code uh, should work. So we don't need this anymore. So, so here's what we're doing. Um, the data file that we have that we're reading from, let me show it to you here, um, is this is the, uh, this data file is 7.4 gigabytes in size. Um, and let's see, actually, let me show you the text version of this since I'm just getting all excited now. Um, it turns out the text version of this file is actually broken into eight pieces because it's so big. But the text version of this file, uh, each eighth of the world has 10,800 rows, 10,800 columns. Uh, this is, for this file, the lower left longitude and this is essentially the number zero is the lower left latitude. So basically we're looking at data that's one one hundred twentieth of a, of a degree. So we're looking at data that's measured at every 30 seconds of arc on the earth. And because the, because we're in the middle of the ocean here, um, a lot of this data is just blank data, which is minus nine, 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 nine. But I converted that into a uh, binary format, uh, which is, this sucker here, um, believe it or not, that's actually smaller than the, the data in text. Uh, and this is all eight files combined. And then I mounted it onto a squash file system, uh, which, which makes it, well, it compresses it effectively. Hello, Natalie. Oh my God. Eight people? Eight? How did you get eight viewers, Natalie? That's a rude thing to say. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome. Welcome, friends. Um, thank you. I finally have viewers. This is kind of scared. Rat and cockroach trade, yeah. Uh, Dormouse, where's the Dormouse? There we are. Um, so what I was saying is that this data actually compresses down to about 277 megabytes because it's actually pretty, pretty redundant. Uh, hello, Natalie. Hello. Uh, everybody else. Is Milkister Moo here? We, we kind of need him here for the party. And um, by the way, Alien Bridge is also here. Wonderful person, one, wonderful streamer. Um, Alien Bridge and Adelo, both wonderful streamers. You should watch them. Um, yeah, sure. I'll just explain it again. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm taking data. I'm trying to read. <laughs> um, I'm trying to read uh, data about population count and population density around the world. Um, and I've written a script that does this from a binary file. 
But yesterday I done it so it's very specific to population count, and I'm trying to generalize it so it works for other other things as well. Um, so if I've done this correctly, this should actually this thing should actually work now. Nope, it does not. Um, let's try that one more time. No shit. Okay, hang on. Oh, is it because I actually have it set to yeah? Because I'm not having it run right now. Um, whoa. Yeah. Yes, Alien Bridge does stream as well. She is a... I, I guess I shouldn't be answering that question, but I will. She streams coding and then other stuff that's not interesting, but coding uh, in, um, in C and Java. Yes. And it's wonderful. So the rest of this code now should just work, basically. Um, great. Glad, glad to see you're making friends. Um, so, so I've kind of been stymied here because um, I didn't expect it to work so quickly. But let's just see what this looks like. And if this works correctly, we, we, we can show a nice map, which is kind of the whole purpose of life. Uh, oh, yeah, great. Enjoy each other's company. No, I'm just... You, you guys are awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, because now I've decided to call this long lat to data, because we're generalizing this. Okay. Very soon we will have what I want. Okay. So this is the cool thing I had up earlier that apparently no one saw. Um... And this is just to test that things are not working. Okay, that's not what I expected. Okay, let me see if I can figure out what I've done wrong here. Um, my valve equals da 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 da. Um, um, let's see. Data, data, data. Oh, I think I see what's wrong. Over in here, I think I'm saying pop count when I mean data because we've changed it. We don't want to be, we don't want to be. Okay. Still won't work, but let's just see how it goes. And this took a second or two to not work. Okay, so it actually did work. Um, and this just basically shows the different population counts uh, in different shades of red. So nothing really super surprising here. This area of the world, this area of the world, very populated. But it actually doesn't show population density. It shows count. And that means areas near the equator are favored because they have larger uh, latitude-longitude squares. So what I was hoping to do, this is not QGIS. I had QGIS running yesterday. Um, and I can show you QGIS. What the hell? Um... On um, yeah, let's let's just do this. Do an actual stream where someone is interested in what I'm doing. Um, this is going to take a second. And it's going to be three error messages for no good reason. Um, this is QGIS, and I'm going to try to make it skinnier, but it it's really a very resource hoggy program. Okay, this is not interesting. This is basically the world population count. It goes between zero and, like, a huge number here. Uh, it's not interesting because right now it's in shades of gray, which is boring. So you can go over here and go to Layer, Properties. And instead of single band gray, we can go to single band pseudo color, spectral. Um, let's not do, let's do equal. And we could put it, well, actually, let's do continuous. Classify. And then we want to actually reverse that. So, so the cool thing here, it's not going to be that much cooler, actually, but... But it's slightly cooler because now we have, in color, different, uh, different population counts have different values. So, again, there's nothing really surprising here. We know this part of the world is really populated, this part of the world is really populated, this part of the world is really populated, and a few scattered cities in the United States are really populated. Um, pink. Y pink and yellow, please. Okay. What? Alien Bridge. God damn it. This is what happens when you let girls on the stream. Let me see if I can do that. I don't... You know what? The sad thing is I think they probably do have 
Um, all right, let's see if we can, where we, layer, what the hell, view, wait, 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 where'd it go? Um, yeah, 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 oh god, pink and yellow, really? I, I actually need to figure this out, hang on. Um, I had it. Select, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. I'm looking for not decorations. I need edit. No. Layer. What the hell? Oh, settings. No. Plugins. Vector. Project. I actually lost it. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it again. I should be able to get back to it from here. There we are. Layer properties. Okay. Hello, Milkister Moo. Um, that is how you apply mathematics. That is a very applied use of applied mathematics. Wait, whoa, whoa, how come he gets the heart and I don't get the heart? He's supposed to be behind me. Yeah, so, all right. Pink and yellow. Um, oh God, there probably is a pink and yellow here, isn't there? Um, let's see. Yeah, you know what this is. There's a lot of different color ramps here. These are called color ramps for those of you who who care. I think this is probably the closest I can get to pink and yellow. It's, it's yellow and kind of orangish. So we do this. Oh my god. This is disgusting. But this is how the world's population count would look like if for some reason the people painted the world yellow and orange. Uh, um, hearts for everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, it does hurt to look at. So in fact, I'm going to undo that. Where the hell are my layer settings? I guess we just go back here. Um, that's so bad. It's actually, I want to put grayscale back. Um, or we could do this. This is this is fun but stupid. Um, let's see. So we can put this in a hundred random colors, and this is just going to look hideous, but probably still better than what we had before. So now again, you could see that by the way, so much of the world has so little population that whatever color is being set to the um, to the lowest color in this case, you know between zero and six people per chunk, um, that whatever the lowest color is, we could change these values, but if you do it like even into like, how many do I have here, like 200 different colors? The lowest one is gonna take over because most of the world is not that populated. It's, it's very non-densely populated. Okay. Uh, Sweden, no you don't. Um, looks pretty it's like clown vomit now wow this is the first time i've ever had to actually read chat and keep up with it uh sweden by the way if you're wondering is one of these things here let's see if i can find it um i don't actually know how to zoom uh, actually i think i do know how to zoom in so over here oh unnecessary zoom um one of these things here is sweden and one of these things here is like a city in sweden but I don't actually, uh, actually know. God damn it. I stopped loving the pink. This is disgusting. Um, whoa. That's, I think that's TMI. Oh, okay. Which one's, which one of these damn things is, one of these is Finland, one of these is Sweden, one of these is Norway. Uh, and this is Denmark right here. Uh, and notice, by the way, as everyone knows, the northern portion of Scandinavia is not very densely populated, uh, but the cities here are. Yes, I do know what Scandinavia looks like. This is Scandinavia right here. Um, unless you're asking me a dirty question. Because um, until just now, I never thought about it, but it does kind of look like that. Um, God. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me, let me, let me, yeah, let me show you something that since I'm going to, since I've got actual people on the stream for once, let me show you something that's less, still pretty stupid, but less stupid. Um, 
and I think yeah so at least here we can have a map we're gonna put OSM on top of it um, we can now zoom in on I think this will actually tell us which one of these damn things is Sweden oh here it is this the one with Stockholm is Sweden okay so this is where they keep Sweden now if you're curious Sweden's all in one time zone. I don't know which time zone this is, but apparently if you go over here to the west of Norway, it changes. And if you go east over here to God knows where, let me see where the boundary is here. I think that's Finland, actually. It changes again. That's not very interesting. The climate in Stockholm is cold. Uh, but again, that's the kind of thing that you would have guessed already. This is not very deep. Uh, and then the way the land is being used there is, wow. Um, again, this would be a lot better if it had a key, but it doesn't. Um, what's amazing, though, is that Stockholm is not considered urban. Oh, no, it is. The gray is urban there, so there's a little bit of urban there. Um, okay, middle one is... <laughs> um... Okay. I, 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 you're in love in the very southern part of Sweden, but I also assume that you are living in the very southern part of Sweden. Um, oh, that's right. You did tell me where you lived once. Um, and it's not Stockholm. It's actually further south than Stockholm. It's... Uh, I don't know where it is anymore. But anyway, this is a nice map that I have overlays on that are somewhat useful. Uh, it's not Junkaping or Goatberg. Um, I, am I in Norway again? Okay. Gothenburger. The Skan region in the southeast. So, let's see where the Skan people are. Unfortunately, this is a very poor map. It doesn't have a... Uh, I mean, I could go to OpenStreetMap and search, but this is, like, my version of the... You live in the Goatland here? Um, okay. All right, fine. You know what? If we're going to do this, let's go ahead and go to some place that actually has labels um, and can find things, unlike uh, the Skan region. Um, how do we make this go away? There we go. Um, God damn it, I just want the stupid thing to go away. I want to learn more. God damn it. How do I get rid of this stupid thing? No, no, it's close enough. I mean, I know there's a way to get this stupid thing to go away. But anyway, here's where you live, in case you didn't know. Roughly in this area. Uh, I'm not going to do Pomodoro because I actually have people in the stream, which is very unusual. Can I s just escape this out? No. Um... Yes, I will meet you if you ever come to Albuquerque. Um, thank you, gentlemen scientist, for staying. Um, and thank you, everyone else who's still here. How do I get rid of this stupid piece of shit? Because you are taking up some screen real estate. Um, is there... It's not a layer, right? I mean, it's... Nope. Okay. Do I need to log in for this to give me a f fucking map? Uh, 
tell there, there's 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 some nice stuff going on there all right open street people this is why I hate you because you gonna make me log in and I don't want to but anyway this is um, this is Wow so this is about where you live There should be a... Oh, okay. There's apparently no way to get rid of this piece of crap. North Carolina! Yeah, good... St I was thinking about North Carolina for some reason yesterday, and I don't remember where. Well, yes, it is It is far from New Mexico, but we're in the same freaking country. Uh, the rest of you people are way over in Sweden and stuff. Uh, the University of Lund... Lund. Let's see where Lund is. Oh. This really needs to go away. Um, I mean, I could do something like this, where I... Nope, 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 don't want to do that. Um, you know, I swear to God, this is... This is the kind of thing that makes people he hate open source. Literally, you can't get rid of this piece of shit, which is totally unnecessary. Um, it's on the same continent. Well, it's also on the same country. Let's actually have some fun. Let's look at the... Um, there's two ways to do this. Um, okay, do I have this as an alias? Okay. Uh, North Carolina, Albuquerque, and, whoa, Lund, Sweden. If this works, which it won't, it'll tell me the distances between us. Okay, North Carolina to Albuquerque, 1,498 miles. North Carolina to Lunds Commune, 4,051 miles. Albuquerque to Lunds Commune, five, five, this is it. So this is, anybody else want to have a location that they want to be at? Yeah, no, this is the spelling, A-L-B-U-Q-U-E-R-Q-U-E. -E -E. Although, if you put an R between the U and the Q, that's the original spelling. That's the, the Duke of Albuquerque. Um, anybody else want to live any, anywhere? Um, Dublin, Ireland. Okay, we got it. You got it, man. Let's add Dublin, Ireland to this mess. Okay, here are the distances from... Okay, is is this... Because it changes the name. Uh, is this uh, what you call your city? Bail Atha Cleat? Okay, Madrid, Spain, why not? And I assume you mean Madrid, Spain, not Madrid, Texas. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here you go. Um... That is correct. I should have turned left at Albuquerque. Okay, Natalie, see you in a little bit. Uh, here are the distances between the cities we have specified. Uh, in North Carolina, of course, not a city. It's actually a state. But uh, if you want to give us a city, uh, we, could, we can add it in there. Um, so here it is. Here's the various distances from the various places. I guess the closest of the two is Lunds and Dublin, Ireland, only 794 miles apart. The furthest of the two is Albuquerque and... Oh, actually, no. Albuquerque and Madrid. A little bit further away from Madrid than I am from Dublin. Okay. Um, okay. I don't even remember what the hell I was trying to do, but screw it. This is more fun. Um, and I... Charlotte. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll give you Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, let's see if that... Ch it won't change much, because obviously Charlotte is... Okay, so this is with Charlotte, North Carolina. And I probably need to fix the fact that it, it should, at the very least, tell you what your original names were, because stuff like this, no one would understand this unless you happen to know this was Dublin and this was uh, the city of Madrid. Literal translation, Community of Madrid. So, 
Here's how far we are from each other, plus a few extra locations, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure Alien Bridge is not in Madrid, Spain. Um, you might be in Madrid, Texas, but I mean, I don't, I don't really know. You told me, I think I know what state you're in, but not, not what city you're in. Uh, anyway, this is, this is how we, this is how far we are from each other. Okay, um... Yeah, I, Spain's kind of nice. Although it, right now it's not that nice, actually. Because right now, let's go to some, let's have some more fun. And because you know we're getting too hyped up about this, why don't we talk about everyone's favorite topic, Mr. Coronavirus? Um, I, I want to see the world first, actually. Two point four million cases. Um, one hundred sixty nine thousand deaths. And I think if we go over here, God, my ver Joe, whoa, 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 don't you see that? Um, I think if you look at deaths per million population, I think Spain is really high on that list, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Spain is the fourth highest for deaths per million. San Marino is a tiny country. Andorra is a tiny country. Belgium is a kind of tiny country. Um... So yeah, not 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 a good place to be at the moment, Spain. Um, Italy also not Europe in general not looking too good right now. Um, even the United Kingdom, which is you know usually okay, I'm making this a little bit smaller so we can see it, but oh, actually that didn't help. Um, so Sweden, even though it has no whoa 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 whoa, Ireland is doing pretty bad in terms of deaths. Thank you, T-Torp. Great to see you. Love you. Wonderful person, T-Torp. Everyone should watch him. He knows everything about base pair sequences. God, boring. Um, okay. Ireland is doing pretty bad. Well, actually, Sweden, which has no uh, measures, anti-measures in place. Um, let's see. Oh, this is going to be tough to get into one screen. It's actually not that much higher than Ireland or the USA, which has measures in place. So right here, they're pretty close in terms of deaths per million people. Oh, okay. The Midwest is boring. Thank you. I mean, you could say the stream is boring. It normally is. Um, she means the stream, not the Midwest. <laughs> Thank you, Milk Mr. Moo. Uh, the Midwest of the United States. Well, I'm not there, so I guess I'll say it's boring. Um... So the country that's done the most testing, I think we know, is uh, actually the Faroe Islands, I think, is the, is the maximum one. Um, oh, no, it's Iceland. Iceland has done more testing now. They've tested about 12.6% of their population. Um, so there's only two countries, and I, the Faroe Islands are a dependency of, I think, Denmark. Um, I'm, wow, I'm really happy. I'm not doing... Anything I promised on the stream, I'm not looking at big data. I'm not helping you with JavaScript. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing anything but great, 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 great. Or California or Alaska. Alaska is cool in more ways than one. Um, damn Vikings and their superior health care. Um, right now, let's go to the country we're all interested in, regardless of where we live. Oh, actually, I've kind of done it from here. Um, by the way. This is just drives me nuts. They use green to mean all cases have been resolved. Um, but it happens the only country that has that property is Greenland, which means Greenland ends up green on this, which is just psychedelic for some reason. Although Greenland is technically not an independent country, it's a dependency of Denmark. Just in case anyone didn't know that. All right, where is the USA? Let's just find the freaking USA. There we are. So now in the USA, and by the way, I am in Albuquerque in case that isn't abundantly obvious. Um, 41,000 deaths. Now the, the real, um, really New York and New Jersey, that and actually the sort of Northeast area is really taking it pretty bad. Um, they do have, no one's yet over 0.1%. But New York is getting there. Um, sure. Yeah, we, we, we missed you, and so we decided to switch to talk about um, sixth season of Big Brother Canada? Or does BB mean something else? Or have I just revealed that 
I am such a Big Brother fan that BB instantly makes me think of Big Brother, which it does. I think there already is a sixth season of Big Brother Canada. Um, yeah, I guess that's also, that could be it. Um, I mean, I think our borders are closed now, but yes. Before uh, we started locking stuff down, there is a lot of, in fact, the two biggest airports, the two biggest international airports, I think, no, I'm probably not right about this, but there's a major airport in New, there's two major airports in New York City, and then there's a major airport in Newark. Let me spell that out. Uh, oh, Newark, New Jersey, which sounds like New York, but it's a different city. That also has its own major air airport. Its uh, initials are EWR. I don't know what the name is, but there, there are really three big, big airports in this area. Uh, Connecticut is actually a little bit further off to the northeast. Uh, Louisiana is a sort of a not part of the northeast. This, the, I mean, I don't want to speculate why they have a higher death rate. Maybe they have more old people or something. Um, but, um, okay, Swedish Vikings. <laughs> um, but the U.S. total there. But New Mexico, way the hell down here. We're doing okay. We don't have a lot of deaths. Um, our, yeah, let's see what are our deaths from. 26 deaths per million people. We're not, we're not suffering. We're doing okay. And I, and I think I said this yesterday. I like to say it again because it just amuses me. Wyoming has two total deaths, but three deaths per million population because its population is less than a million people. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, Wyoming, uh, the, really the Rocky Mountain area, Montana, Utah, we do not seem to be hit really hard. Uh, New Mexico, even Colorado, even though Colorado is the highest one up there. Um, that's it's in the Rocky Mountain area. Let's see. I'm running Linux and. Um, well, this data is from worldometers.info. And so that that's this is a different website. The data I get is not self updating, but I can go in. In fact, I need to update it, so I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, Mr. Fuentes, I'm running Linux. And if you're going to say it's an old system, I know I like it this way. I'm running FVWM. New Orleans International Shipping Port could be, actually. That's, I hadn't thought about that. That's probably like where the, most of the sea traffic is. And the Rocky Mountain area is pretty much n doesn't have a coast anywhere. Um, yes, yes, yes. But this is not my data. This is somebody else's data. I'm going to show you what my data is, and I do scrape it daily. It's, um, it's Git data. And I'll just do a Git pull here, and we will see magically the new data coming in. I ha it's up to, up to date through yesterday, so... This will just get one day's worth of data here. Um, and then there's another data package, which is the same thing, but capitalized, but it's different data. And this one, we should actually see daily reports come in. Um, yeah. So really, the only one that came in was for yesterday. And they made a couple of changes, I guess, to the, to the one for the 18th. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, awesome. I have seen, is it mate or mate? It's not pronounced mate. I also looked at mint. Oh, is mint, is mate the one that comes with mint? Uh, I've seen gnome, KDE. Um, there's really one cool one that has like uh, Arch Linux, not bad. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is CentOS. Let me check though. Um, doesn't say. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this, uh, yeah, this is. Actually, that's that's CentOS 11 7. Point, sorry, 7.2. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, and I think I'm running the same thing on my main machine, but I'm running maybe a different version. Could be. Don't know. Um, so, but I'm I'm happy with this setup. Um, it's simple. It's clean. It doesn't use up a lot of memory. It doesn't use up a lot of CPU. Even though I have quite a bit of CPU and memory, um, I don't feel like wasting it on on decorations. I would be perfectly, I would almost be perfectly happy with the command line all the time, but when you need like maps and stuff and graphs, that's when you kind of, um, kind of like having graphics around. Uh, yeah, I remember Red Hat. Red Hat even has a free version. Okay, thank you, Mokistramu. I'm glad you dropped in. Um, and yeah, hopefully the streams, hopefully I'm still going when you get back because. Let's face it, I am at high risk 
for Corona, which means not at high risk for getting it because I don't go anywhere. But if I do get it, I am more likely to suffer complications, um, which, if possible, I will try to do on stream for you. Um, but whatever. Is this... Do I still have... Q oh, I do still have QGIS running. Okay. Um, I'm going to take... Well, you know what? All right. I'm going to take some questions from anybody want in the audience. Oh, I know you like me, but I think... You know how some people become more famous after they die? I want to be one of those people. I want to be one of those people where, like, I die and suddenly my YouTube videos get, like, tons of likes and watches and everyone realizes what a tremendous genius I was now that I'm dead. Because clearly no one's recognizing it while I'm still alive. I mean, you all are, and I love you for it, but I'm not getting that whole sort of... Oh, my YouTube channel? Um, it should be listed in my uh, Twitch panels. Um... If you can't find it there, let me know. Actually, let me... Do I want to put it up? Because this will require visiting my own page, which does bad things. But let me do it anyway. Oh, not YouTube, I mean Twitch. Let me... I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and cut and paste it. But I'm going to try not to get the... Uh, and yes, you can see all the people I follow. Okay. I do not want to see myself streaming... Um. Oh. I could have sworn. I could have sworn that I had it. This is actually the whole thing, but BC coding is where 99% of the stuff is. And here's the other resources you can get uh, get out of me. Now, I'm kind of tempted to look at this, but... Okay, what the hell. Expire. So this is just exposing my private information. These people are all wonderful. If you see them here, you should watch them all. Instead of watching me. In fact, I don't know why I'm watching me. I mean, I guess I kind of have to, but... This guy's really good. Elderly Squirrel, really good. UK Rin, really good. Uh, Natalie, of course, really good. Not... Whoa. Doesn't? That would suck. Motherfucker. Great! I've been posting a link that doesn't work. Mother, how stupid am I? Okay, thanks for pointing that out. I, I need to fix that. Um, by the way, this guy is famous and dead. This guy is famous, and I think he's still alive. Um, this isn't me either. That's me. Oh, shit. It's the Barry Carter. Um, okay, that's embarrassing. I'm going to make a note to fix that. I can actually fix it on stream. Oh, you know what? I will fix it on stream. No, that's not me. None of these people is me. I'm, I, well, I mean, this, this is me. There's a lot of people named Barry Carter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fix this on stream before I forget. Um, oh, shit, am I not logged in as myself? Oh, yeah, I am. So all I need to do is go to Edit Panels, Turn On. So this is exciting. I'm, I'm editing my Twitch stream while on my Twitch stream. Yes, please, please be right back. Okay. Um, okay. Very, very awkward that I had a bad YouTube page in here. And also, it says, will eventually. And no, it does now. We, we've, we've gone through that barrier. So I guess I'll update that, too. Um, contains older Twitch streams. God, that sucks. I thought I checked that, too. All right, there we go. It's all fixed now. So, yeah, I can go off of edit panels. So this is how you would want to edit your panels. Um, I wonder how much else of this stuff is actually... Um, I don't know my GitHub pages on here either. I need to do that. Let me just... GitHub 
dot I O. I do no, I don't. I, I'm going to put that on there too. God damn it! I suck. Okay. Okay, I made it old enough to myself. Do that. I'll do that later because I need to actually figure out where it is. Yeah, I know it is so meta. It is totally meta, man. Um, no, you don't have a face reveal for me, but I'll I, I'll go back to these other people if you'd like. Um, oh, where were they? So here are some people that I'm not. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Okay, I'm not this guy. This is the Ormus. What the hell is that? Oh, so this is some guy, okay. Uh, I don't live in Baker City, Oregon. Uh, this guy's famous for Ormus, which is some sort of uh, non-medically approved, but sort of cool treatment. That's not me. This Barry Carter, I sort of know. He is a poker author. He's an author of, of poker books. He's really, really smart. Uh, he's not me either. This guy is just freaking weird. Uh, this one's me. This one? I think I've, I think I've seen him on stream before. Uh, that's not me either. This is the Orm. Okay, so... So, yeah. So this guy was probably the most famous Barry Carter. Um, I guess he still is, before he died. Um, I guess he still is, even though he is dead. But he he does this thing called Ormus. Um, so anyway. What's scary is at some point, if I go down this, I might actually find a picture of myself. Um... So anyway, so the big famous one is this guy, and I'm pretty sure he died recently. Okay. All right, Alien Bridge. Wait a minute. Um. Um. So Alien Bridge, are you gonna do JavaScript? We were gonna do that together. But we don't have to, but uh, if you want to do JavaScript, we can do it together here or on your stream. I don't care. Um. Uh, yeah, I actually don't do that on... I think there's some place I actually mentioned that I don't do that on purpose. Because uh, I want people to go through the effort of cutting and pasting. Um, yeah, what's up, Mr. Mr. Fuentes? Baby. Um, okay, Alien Bridge, if you want to co-stream, let me know. If you want to... Um, we can go to Replit here and learn JavaScript. Uh, really anything, uh, anything you want. And if you don't want anything, anything anybody else wants, because I am pretty open to that. I will give a moment of quiet ponderance. Okay, I'm going to stop looking at these people who are not me. Um, and by the way, the top ten leading causes of death in the United States, someone actually said uh, that coronavirus is now the top uh, it is not. Uh, and, um, and, uh, yeah. And just in case you didn't get this little piece of news here, no, the coronavirus is not the leading cause of death in the United States. That is total bullshit. Uh, it might get there, but it's not there right now. Okay, anybody in chat? Have I lost everybody? Fools, I'll show them all. Or I'll show none of them, because that's no one left here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get back to what I was doing beforehand, but if anyone has any suggestions, comments, questions, just wants to F with me, not in that way, um, go ahead. And it appears I am still streaming. Um, oh, here we are. I had not known that. Um, I did notice something else about this. If you look at the top ten reasons that people... Whoa. Oh, man. Um, one weird thing here is... No, I don't want to accept your... Pr well, fuck. Do I have a choice? I don't have a choice. One other thing I actually noticed... Um... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it's actually quite a few of these are pretty bad, uh, but 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 what I noticed here was, you'll notice that they group influenza and pneumonia together. The problem with this is that COVID can also cause pneumonia. So if you get COVID and die of pneumonia, do you belong in this category or do you get your own separate category? 
Now, there's no guarantee that when the CDC puts out the top 10 for 2020, they're going to use the same categorizations. But if they do, this kind of this kind of um, this kind of combines this will combine some of the COVID deaths because pneumonia is a result can be a result of COVID. In fact, I think I read that 25 percent of COVID cases that are fatal or no uh, that are serious end up in pneumonia or something. Kidney disease, um, suicide. We're not even quite at, you know, the number of deaths in the United States is not even quite at the level of suicide yet. Uh, we're getting there, but we're not there yet. So one of the things I was going to do after I did the other stuff, which we're not going to, I probably won't get to today, is using various inaccurate projections, which are the only kind we have. We could try to see when, yes, correct. Well, what they should have is a, uh, yeah, a, just a COVID category. So you would have influenza, COVID, and then non-influenza, non-COVID pneumonia. But that probably wouldn't even make the top 10 now because, well, actually, I don't know. Because, I mean, yeah, that's one of the problems of when you group things together, the way you choose to group them uh, can affect which one is in the top 10. Um, so heart disease actually covers a very large range of things. Um, yeah. Medical professionals use the term heart disease to describe several conditions. So if you broke these up, they would actually probably not ob obviously be in the, in the top 10. Heart attack, stroke, I think angina is not fatal, heart failure. But again, and again, cancer, if you broke it up into types of cancer, um, you would again not have this be number two. Uh, and there's, you know, there's breast cancer, there's skin cancer, uh, there's ugh, prostate cancer, which is the worst because uh, technically I can get it and I don't want to. That's what makes it the worst. Yeah, and again, oh, prostate cancer is like the second one. That sucks. So this is why, if you're a guy, this is why having a prostate sucks. Usually it's a wonderful thing. Colorectal cancer. Oh, that's not good either. But at least girls can get that too. Um, oh, this is for males. Okay, okay, okay hang on. So, cool. Um, so, more women die of breast cancer than men die of prostate cancer. I will consider that a win. Um, yeah, Mr. Fuentes, I sort of agree with you here. But at the same time... Um, if you look at the number of deaths in the United States, and I actually did this, the number of new deaths that we're getting um, in the United States, that number seems to be leveling off. I don't think we're going to continue to see, um, how many of our deaths are we getting per day? Like over a thousand, right? Yeah. I don't think we're even going to be seeing like four, se four to seven thousand deaths per day. Um, unfortunately, this new deaths method is measured really weirdly, so it's not a reliable number. Um, I was actually doing a little bit of that, and I don't think we're going to continue to see if we keep seeing steady numbers for COVID, even if it's not exponential increase, even if it's just linear, we're in bad shape. Um, but I think we might be seeing the peak, and I'm just guessing on that one. Uh, yes, and plus the deaths, and that, of course, is the, the other issues that hospitals are having. Um, the COVID deaths, for the most part, are in addition to other deaths. Now, that's not necessarily 100% true, because a lot of people who have, die of COVID are old and frail, and they might have died from something else. And in particular, they might have died from influenza because influenza also tends to attack the same group of people that COVID attacks it kills. So, so there's some overlap there. But yes, for the most part, these are new. Uh, hello, thank you. Well, you're not lurking anymore. Um, but yes, for the most part, these are new deaths. Um, Twitter cancer should be combined with Instagram cancer. Okay. Um, so I'm personally saying that I don't think COVID is going to um, continue at this rate for much longer. I think a lot of people are going to get it, but they're going to get over it because the CDC does say that most people will be able to recover from COVID without having to go to the hospital. Um, so, and, and of course, once you, we're assuming that once you get over COVID, you will build up antibodies but there's some evidence that people who are recovered can get infected again. And if that happens a lot, then we're like screwed beyond belief. Then we might as well just wipe out the human race uh, or wipe out the people who have COVID. 
um, because that that's going to be a never-ending situation. But if you can get COVID, get over it in your home, uh, and when you recover, you have antibodies. That is not necess- That's not necessarily a bad thing. That's kind of like vac- having a vaccination. Um, you get take the vaccination, you get a little bit sick because it's a reduced dose, but then you develop the antibodies. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a lurking kitty cat. Okay. Okay, other comments on COVID, cancer, Instagram, Twitter, Natalie. Uh, I don't know how to read your name. Wordwin? Oh, Wordwin. Very clever. Or anything at all, because I, 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 I am so happy to have viewers. It's, it's magical. By the way, I would like to thank Tom Tom Hotep for following me. Um, okay, word win. Um, I don't want to be contentious here in my stream because I've never had to do it before. Um, social distancing doesn't bother me that much, although there is an MIT report that COVID may be able to travel 27 feet. Let me bring that up so I'm not doesn't sound like I'm making shit up. Uh, and it's by MIT, so it's not it's not like I mean they're not, you know, it's not Stanford, but it is still pretty bad. Um, so you know we're not we're not going to be able to be social distancing 27 feet. That's and you know if honestly if it can travel 27 feet, someone's going to find one of them. You know, so like setting a record can travel like 90 feet or something. We're just not going to be able to social distance 27 feet. Six feet, if you actually think about it, um, I normally stand more than six feet away from strangers. Uh, unless it's like a really crowded area, which it never is here. You know, usually you, you don't get up into people's personal space anyway. But 27 feet is going to have an effect. Um, and... Yeah, some, I, think, I think yes. I think that's basically... The distance, yeah, I think you're right. It's the distance droplets tend to travel. It's not that the coronavirus dies out after six feet. It's just that most people don't don't cough more than six feet. So I guess if you were a real cough, you know, real cough honker on a windy day, you could you could maybe infect people in the next city. <laughs> That's possible too. Although I think the early numbers were actually saying three feet, and three feet it's actually difficult to stand closer than three feet to someone um, unless you know unless you know because that, that's really in someone's personal space um, but 27 feet that that's going to be difficult and you know honestly now if uh, you know and if I don't know if we can pass it through sneezing but I've heard sneezes can travel pretty far um, six feet is the CDC what the CDC is giving out is the current rule uh, they might change that later on. Um, now, now if sneezes can travel. Can sneezes carry COVID? Because now I think we now might have a new piece of research here. Um, let's find out. Let's see if we can scare more people. I guess I don't have a choice here. Uh, Okay, 100 miles per hour. That doesn't give us the distance, though. Oh, come on, give us the distance. Oh. Well, there's a six feet number. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Six feet to me does not seem like it's a very long distance for sneezes to travel. Um, but apparently, the general rule here is six feet of the sneezer or coffer. Um, I guess the point is after that distance, the the um, the density, the concentration of bacteria is much lower. Um, that, 
was very exciting. I want something more deadly than this. Six feet is nothing. I mean, it's something, but we already know that number. Um, and that's probably true, too, actually. And then, then you think about it, the coronavirus, I don't know what its density is, um, but it can probably float on air currents. I mean, I can't imagine that it can't. Um, I don't think, it, well, let's, let's, I mean, this is like a physics problem. If you're expelled at 100 miles per hour uh, from a mouth and you have a density of so-and-so and an air resistance of so-and-so, how long till you sort of fall out of the range where people can get you? Yeah, this is, this is maybe a question no one's asked. Uh, this is a different kind of density, though. Sedimentation and density. <laughs> yeah! Wow. I don't even know. Oh, it's in Russian. Screw them. Yeah, six feet. Okay, maybe that's it. So I guess if you sneeze and your sneeze hangs around for a while, um, I don't know. I mean, okay, I, I don't think, I think this density means how, how close you have to be to someone, not the actual physical mass over volume. Um, um, it's good to have like shoe commercials right in the middle of this really serious stuff. Um, yeah, and this is the thing that seems to indicate that it's not just how many people per uh, million, it's also a factor of the density of the population. Um, oh, there you go, yeah. Go ahead and write that corona story. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm actually, so, okay, I'm going to do this. So, guys, Pearl Feet Shoes, they will give you the coronavirus because that's why they're putting them here. So don't buy these unless you want corona, and you probably don't. Um, I thought about actually writing people like, like these advertisers and telling them, you realize you're advertising on news of all this really, you know, crappy stuff. People might associate you with it. Um... Oops. That is true, and of course, because it's spherical or it's coner or whatever, and yeah, you know, that's true. It also distributes out to where it gets less and less. And I think in the sneeze article, unless I deleted it, um, it said there was like twenty bacteria. Yeah, um, hundred million droplets with twenty bacteria each. So for those of you who do uh, math. That's two billion bacteria. Uh, and you need about a thousand to cause infection. Fifty droplets to be at risk. Um, these are the numbers. Now, honestly, I think these, these numbers obviously, you know, come from, from, from a little bit of work and stuff. But it's very hard to perform direct studies on these numbers um, because it would be unethical. And I think... I'm going to ignore Pomodoro this time. I think that we should ignore ethics and actually have, like, sneezing people get them closer to each other. And, you know, really, I think we need to start doing some large-scale human experimentation to figure this all out. And I think we should do it with Russians because they write articles in a language that I don't like. Um, I would also be okay with doing it with other Eastern Europeans, but I don't know what other countries are in Eastern Europe, but they, I know they have... Fun exactly. But I, I, I know Russia was our enemy back in the, when I was growing up. Um, the other Eastern European countries, um, more because they have dumb names that I don't really understand fully, and also they're hard to find on a map. So, you know, get rid of those and we'll be good. I mean, anything east of Romania, because Romania has vampires and we want to keep those. But uh, anything east of Romania... Um, Europe. Show me Europe. Okay, this is Germany, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, 
Yeah, these guys can stay because I actually know someone from Lithuania and they're cool. Um, so all, whatever the hell this thing is. Moldova, yeah, that can definitely go. Uh, guys who don't know how to spell their names. Um, that one can stay. That's Estonia. And Finland can stay too. So yeah, I think I nailed it. East of Romania, we should use for human experimentation. Um, you could. Yeah, that's actually good. You, you're right. We could. Um, the, of course, the one problem would be forced sneezing, like with pepper or something, would be... There are. I mean, maps.google actually is. And the problem is, I don't like using it because it's not open source, but it also doesn't suck the way OpenStreetMaps appears to. Um, and in case you're wondering, I am near Cliff's Amusement Park. Can't go there now, though. Um, and this one has a nice little collapsed side panel. So, zoom in here. Okay, yeah, this, these, are the, these are the countries I don't like here. Kazakhstan, all the Stans. Uh, you know, all the stupid Stan countries. Kazakh, Uzbek, Kriggs, uh, Afghanistan, even Pakistan will, will kill that off, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, you know, that's really a Stan in disguise. This is really Azerbaijan. Georgia, because that's actually the name of a U.S. state, so that shouldn't be there. Uh, the Ukraine, I think, has to go. Belarus has to go. I didn't even know it existed. So all these crappy countries here. Bulgaria, maybe we'll let Bulgaria live because its capital is called Sofia, and that's a kind of a cool name. But, um, yeah, everything in this area sucky. Oh, over here, this is just bullshit. Um, yeah, I didn't know Kazakhstan was, like, freaking next to Mongolia. What the hell's up with that? So these countries, so the people in this country, we're going to be experimenting on you. Uh, people in this country, you've already suffered enough. Um, and Azerbaijan, we're going to change your name to Azerbaijan and then test... Georgia? No, not Georgia. Real Georgia is in the United States. Um, you guys can see Greece is pretty cool. Turkey is pretty cool. If you're named after a food or named Hungary, like you're hungry, you can, you can live. So this is my decision on who lives and who dies. Um, Ukraine and Bulgaria. Uh, on the other map, I think you were Ukraine and Bulgaria. Keep Ukraine. Now, okay, now, now we're getting some little bit of... Con Turkey is named... Okay, first of all, Turkey has a food name, so it's got to be staying. And it's part of that song, Istanbul was Constantinople. You couldn't have that without Turkey. So Turkey gets to stay. Syria, we could get rid of. Um, Jordan's a pretty cool name, so we'll keep it. Uh, then we're sort of getting over here into... Uh, what the hell? I didn't even know this country existed. Eritrea. What that? Get rid of that. Uh, Merchant into Ethiopia. Now we're getting sort of into Africa and the Muslim territories. Um, and I don't really want to say anything bad about Muslims because they are all terrorists who will come and kill me. Um, nope, just kidding. Yeah, the Byzantine Empire. You know, um, someone was talking about that here yesterday. Apparently all of these countries um, were once part of the Byzantine Empire and someone, oh, right, right, Constantinople uh, was actually not part of Turkey because Turkey didn't exist at the time. It was the Byzantine Empire that Constantinople was the, was the, um, was the capital of, I think. But why not? Why don't we go further deep into this Constantinople? I think Pope Constantine, um, okay. Also, we need to bring back the Ottoman era just because it sounds so cool. Um, okay, so it was the capital city of the Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire known as the Byzantine, and the Ottoman Empire. Um, so really, quite a bit of history here. Right, and after Rome was taken over, for some reason I also think it is the home of Orthodox Christianity. Rome is the home of uh, Catholic Christianity, but I think Orthodox Christianity, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The Hagia Sophia, um, the Cathedral of Eastern Orthodox Church, that's where uh, Eastern Orthodox, uh, that's where Orthodox Christianity I think is still sort of centered. Anglican Christianity is in London. 
Uh, there was a time then there were three different people claiming to be Pope. Uh, one of them is the Pope we have now. The other one is uh, whoever the hell runs the Hagia Sophia. And the other one is the Archbishop of Canterbury, who is the Pope of the Anglican religion. So there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Rome, there was like, yeah, Rome actually had quite, at one point, Rome went as far as north as Scotland. Ooh. Shiny. Uh, but, but yeah, they, they kind of, they kind of, now they're down to like one city, but they have a country inside them, so it's still pretty cool. Um, of course, the country they have is like the smallest country in the world, but still not bad for a city to have a country inside of it. I think I've bored everybody else off. So anyone still here who has questions, comments, wants to talk about something, wants to advertise their stream, just basically anything, just do it, man. Just go with it. So today on Sesame Street, we've learned about Constantinople. <laughs> We have not learned about the density of the coronavirus. We have learned about population density and its effect on infections re the coronavirus. We learned which European countries were useless, ones ending in Stan, Azerbaijan, and Georgia. We learned about sneezing on people. We learned about, oh, I don't know what the hell this is. Hello, Natalie. Welcome back. I was about to do my thing. Watch me, Duba. Uh, I'm tired of you people. Watch me do my thing. Watch me do my thing. Um, Natalie, do you have any suggestions for what we should do? I'm apparently really deep into COVID. Oh, and then there's this. Um... Whoa, oh yeah, your boyfriend Milkister Moo. <sighs> have we have we moved past the um so you've moved past the real life boyfriend. You're now at the Milkister Moo stage, and we will be moving on to the me stage. And then have you thought about any who you're gonna be dating after we break up? Because you know, bug girl, I love you, but I don't love the bugs. So in the custody battle, you will get the bugs. Okay. Now, for those of you who are trying to learn something, ha ha ha, screw you. Oh, alien bridge left, apparently. Um, okay. So we found out that we could pass anything we wanted in as data. We didn't have to, uh, we could pass it in as a file hash and we could read from it and it's looking good. That's pretty damn good. Now, let's see if we can do the same thing with population density. And to do that, we will need to... I need to combine these files, because they, they really don't kind of belong. Uh, let's see, ls minus l mount pop count. I will create pop density. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Sudo. density and then pseudo chown user dot and then squash fuse I forget which one the archive which is going to be tilde population pop density squash on to mount pop density hey wait 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 oh right that and then oh Wait, shit. Oh. Did I finally get smart? I did get smart. I actually just named it mount pop density pop density dot squash. No, top dot bin. That's what I meant. And now if I run this we should get a very similar map to the one before. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of QGIS. This is just 
This somehow makes Scandinavia look even uglier than it actually is. Um, okay, so now if I run this again, we should get a map that's similar, but not identical to the previous map. Um, if it's identical, I'm going to be suspicious, or I've screwed something up and it's going to look really stupid. So one of those two possibilities here is what we're looking for. Um, I'll play some music. Oh, I'll, I don't have a music player, so I'll just hum. Hum. While we're waiting for this to happen, this should not be this slow. It should be pretty much as fast as the other one, because it's like literally almost the same file. Whoa! That has really slowed things down. Hope I'm still streaming. That has... Okay. Why is that taking so much longer? Have I screwed something up? Um, that file is no longer than the other one. Yeah, they're exactly the same size. You should have no more trouble reading that one than you do this one. I've even shut down QGIS, so there should be nothing running. Um, oh. Did I not get rid of that earlier? Okay, hang on. Maybe that was a problem. One sec. Let's try that again. Um... So, okay. It's hard to tell the difference, but the areas that are further from the equator are a little bit redder because population density, there's less land per square latitude longitude here. So the, the, there's less area, so there's higher population density. But this is, again, not very exciting. Um... But anyway, this is how we would, this is how we confirm the data we have kind of looks okay. Jeez. Uh-oh, uh hopefully meant that things have gotten worse, but then they got better again? Let me ask. Uh, in the stream, uh, everything's still okay? And if not, I probably need to do something about that. I don't know what I would do. I'm whining. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know why it slowed down so much, but um, but we're good now. Okay, so now um, now we're going to break it. All right. Now we're going to break it, of course, and we're going to break it because we're going to get the solar energy map. Um, which I need to... I'm going to move all the uh, squash files. I'm going to I'm going to kill Okay, hang on. Okay. I'm going to kill off the two squash files, the two squash mounts right now so we don't need them and they're probably taking up valuable something. And then I'm going to take the um Let's see. Okay, I'm on my other machine. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay, man. Um, and in just a second, I'm going to give uh, put in a new file here that's actually might be useful. Then again, might not be. I just don't know. Um, okay, hang on. Maybe I've lost it. Oh, actually, it's in here. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Just chill out to the sound of my meadow voice. That's a joke. Here we are. Okay. Um. Okay, hang on. 
Still working on it. Okay. Now we're back. Yo, Milkister Moo, welcome back. How's it going? Um, yeah, you missed some freaking crazy tangents. So now what I've done is I've put... We still need to really combine these into one squash file system, but for right now, this is fine. Um, so now we're going to mount... I'm going to make mount data, I think. Make it readable. I'm going to mount... Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. I'm going to mount the solar energy data, and we're going to watch it fail. Yeah, that is true. I am, I am pretty crazy, and I love tangents because I'm a mathematician. But um pa Okay. So we're going to do the solar data. Okay. It should be mount data solar bin. Okay, good. So now... I'm hoping this will fail in a way that is um, educational and not in a way that fucks me over. But let's find out. Let's find this could be so bad. Yeah. This could this could be terrible. So far, not too bad. Brace for impact. We are we are running files through pipelines with error messages silent. That is insanely awesome. A quiet pipe fail. Now, if this doesn't do something in a couple of minutes, it's going to fail in a way that's non-educational. So we're going to give it till the top of the hour, which is 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, and it is 2 p.m. here in the Mountain Daylight Time Zone, 4 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone, 1 p.m. in Pacific Time Zone, 3 p.m. in the Central Time Zone, assuming you're on Daylight Time. I will keep giving times until this damn thing... Okay! That is a... That is a really good fail. That's not what I expected, actually, but, but cool. So why did this fail? Um, well, it's supposed to. Because the data for solar energy doesn't co cover um, doesn't cover the entire world, and we, we're going to be oh, are we going to be able to look at it? No, because I don't have it linked. Hang on. I should just link the all. I should just link the whole damn thing. But anyway. Okay. So if we look at the If we look at this, we see that we have no idea what the hell we're doing. Let's go over here. Okay. All right. So this is the file that we use to create the binary file. Let's take a look at it. It's got a few things going on here. Okay. Um, one second here while I tweak some other crap. Okay. Yep, we're ignoring Pomodoro again. So we still have the same cell size, which is 1 over 120th of a degree. Uh, same number of... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I think that's the same number of columns. Uh, 43,200. Um... By the way, our good friend Alien Bridge is now live. If you want to go watch her, and I strongly suggest that you do. Um, so wait. Okay, this might be a different error problem here. Um, but that that should be okay, actually. Three sixty times one twenty is. Yeah, I, that should be fine. Yeah, yeah, that, okay. The, the problem should be the latitude starts at um, minus 55 instead of minus 90. I, it 
it's not me, man. It's the data file. This is the no data value, and they always start the data mapping at a point where there's nothing. Um, so I'm actually a little bit confused what by this. Um, uh, the big difference here is going to be basically um, the latitude offset is not going to be minus 90. Um, oh, shit, this is... Oh, I'm sorry, this is totally wrong. Never mind. Because in the previous two examples, I glued together eight files. This is actually a single file, uh, so the data is going to look very, very different. So, totally F that up. Um, so this is just a straight file that has the other issue that its latitude is limited to negative 55 to 13,800 rows with 120 um, uh, of a degree per row is 115 degrees. So this is going from negative uh, 55 to, I think, plus 60. God damn it. So from negative 55 to plus 60. Okay. Uh, okay, I've been going from an hour and 40 minutes, uh, which means unless there... Hello! Uh, hello, 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 Natalie. So unless there are requests, special uh, thingamabobbies, um, I think I'm going to call this th the stream, even though I, I'm happy. I got some stuff done. Hello, Barry. Hello, Natalie. I just said hello, Barry. I just said my own name. I'm so stupid. Anyway, does anyone have questions, comments, wants to study something? Because this problem that I'm looking at is more difficult than I thought it would be. And there's another issue here that I didn't anticipate. It's not hard to fix, but it does, it does mean that what I did before um, isn't going to work. Because what I did before was I took eight files and glued them together, and that um, subroutine... Okay, well, you know, if I can help put you to sleep... That didn't sound right. If I can help put you down, nope. If I can kill you, let me know. Um, anybody else? Um, questions, comments? Well, I'll have Mokister Moo do it. He's closer. I do. I am American. I do have a gun. Um... I wouldn't use it on, well, you know. You, no, there's a rule in New Mexico. We do not kill people. We do not kill our guests. So literally, if you came to see me, literally, you would be the only person who is safe. Because in New Mexico, it's okay to kill anybody except your guests. The only people who are safe are your guests and your neighbors. And I only say neighbors because I think I'm talking loud enough that some of them might be able to hear you. Um, there's actually a book about that by Terry Pratchett. Uh, well, burglars, I mean, burglar, big deal. I mean, stuff is stuff. There's actually a book about that, um, by Terry Pratchett. Uh, like, there's a, a presumably an Ar Arabian tradition that if someone is a guest in your house, you have to be nice to them for 24 hours, no matter what they've done. Uh, but after 24 hours, you can, you know, kill them or whatever. Um... So my rule is, in New Mexico, you have to be nice to guests as long as they're there during the invitation period. So I'm going to invite you over for three days. You know, you come over for three days, you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm not going to hurt you. You cross that 72-hour line, you're dead. Assuming you've done something bad, or I'm just bored. Um, because it turns out it's not actually illegal to kill foreigners here in the United States. So... That's right, you, ha you have to invite vampires um, inside. And I think were no, not werewolves. Werewolves you shoot with a silver bullet. Vampires can only cross thresholds if they're invited across them. Milkister Moo can only hold th cross thresholds uh, when he's awake, I think is the rule. I don't remember for sure. I have never gone outside, so I don't really know what a threshold is. But I like saying it. Threshold, thresh, 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 threshold. Okay. 
Once again, I will open up the... Okay, here we go. Um, I noticed that on other streamers as well. Um, I noticed that for other streamers. I don't know why that is, but you're right. The way I see it is different from the way you see it. Um, and I don't know if I, I can do a lot more than you guys can. Oh, my God. I have too much power. Um, wowzers. I don't even know what half the stuff... What does VIP do? Do I know what that is? No. I have a chosen color. Okay. Um, Milk is removed, I don't think is British. I mean, I don't know. Um... I didn't know I could actually just host by doing slash host. That is actually pretty cool. Um, oh, I think Milkistrabu is now pushing the British because the British are also freaking polite and they don't point out that we quote unquote don't speak correct English. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Alien Bridge unless anybody's got questions or comments. Um, or you just want to continue this petty debate. Oh, 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 now we're, yeah, of course we know that. That's who we broke away from. That's how we got our independence. We killed a bunch of British people with guns. That's why that worked. The Revolutionary War. And then we killed a bunch of Texans and other Southern people. Uh, with guns as part of the Civil War. And, you know, we're getting pretty tired. We need another war. We haven't had, like, a real good American war for a while. I mean, we've had, like, little pithy wars around the world, but none that are actually in America, like the Revolutionary War, the Civil War. Um, yeah, I know, I know. I agree with you on that one, actually. Uh, Americans have gotten much weaker over the time. Um, of course, the Second War was... Uh, more about, uh, you know, fighting to keep slaves. So kind of a 50-50 record there. Um, so, you know, that's... that's. So maybe our third war. Now, I'm thinking... Um, I think, like, the biggest problems... I am, but I, I'm going to keep going on this until um, until this thread dies out or you die out. Um, I think the biggest problems Americans have today, uh, aside from the coronavirus, is that we keep confusing Sweden and Switzerland because they both start with SWA and they're both in Europe. So I think our next good war here would be to either wipe out Sweden or Switzerland so we don't get confused. Now, Switzerland makes great watches. They have great chocolate. Uh, and they're also really cool because they don't have their own national language. They, they, they share three different languages. So I'm thinking our next war will be against Sweden. Um, and basically it'll be to make Sweden rename itself to something less stupid. Liberia, we named Liberia. Oh, you mean we can't know what the... We can name them. We just don't know what the current names are. We can rename them all. Um, you know, there's... Big fat country in the middle. There's country on sort of the left edge. There's country down below where Nelson Mandela is from. There's island country where there are penguins, or not really, but there there are in cartoon there are cartoon penguins in that island country. Then there's the one with the pyramids. Um, then there's the one with all the wars. Then there's the one with all the Muslims, and then there's like three or four other with all the Muslims, like Muslim 1, Muslim 2, Muslim 3, Muslim 4. Uh, then there's um, that country that you think is one place, but it's another place. Um, <laughs> I think people know where China is. Well, actually, you might be right. I mean, honestly, um, but this was a long time ago, but there was a time when Americans could not pick out America on a world map. So... You're probably right. We don't know where China, we don't know where America is. That's fucked up. 
Um, but I don't know how re that was a long time ago. So by now, I think we've maybe figured out where America is. Um, China, Mongolia, Russia, that area. So what the hell was I talking about? <laughs> this, this is American high school students. They don't, you give them a world map and they don't really understand what they're looking at. Um, all right, I'm going to do this because I, I don't think it's true anymore, though. I think we've, we've upped our game a little bit. Can Americans find America on a world map? Oh, 94% can, according to Salon.com. Um, hands. Um, okay. Recent polls have shown, um, okay. 94% of young Americans, well, still, that's, that's pretty damn good for us. Uh, and 92% of them find where Canada is, and Canada's imaginary, so that's really good. 79% um, can, now see, what bugs me about this number isn't how low it is, but how big the Pacific Ocean is. I mean, literally, about half the world is the Pacific Ocean. How could you miss it? It's like, just point randomly and you'll probably, at ocean, and you'll probably hit the Pacific Ocean. Um, um, couldn't find the United, well, the United Kingdom has been lost for a long time. Egypt is stupid. Indonesia is less, just a bunch of islands. That's stupid. Um, uh, let's see. It's an arpeleg. This is just a stupid word for chain of islands. It's, it's just like a big island that's been split into pieces. Um, okay. So, but this, according to this totally different article, which is from 2002, uh, we have geographical illiteracy. Well, on a map, yeah, I mean, I probably couldn't on a map of the Middle East either. Uh, I mean, I could get, you know, on a map of the world, I could tell you where the Middle East is, but I couldn't tell you where Iraq specifically is. It's one of them. Now let's um, go fuck yourself. Uh, man. I wonder if I could use the cached version. Okay. Only 17% of the young adults in the United States could find Afghanistan. But Afghanistan, you know, they keep blowing stuff up. It's very, very hard to find Afghanistan. It keeps moving. Um, okay, smartasses. Apparently you guys can find Afghanistan. So why don't you go send some troops over there? Yeah, we were, but we weren't quite as bad as Mexico. So we, th that's why we need to build a wall, because the one country that's stupider than us doesn't come over. 11% um, couldn't u locate the U.S. on a map. 29% couldn't find the Pacific Ocean. Oh, come on. 58 Japan's like an island. That's not hard to find. Man... Um, although, to be honest, knowing where Israel is isn't going to help you find suicide bombers. Pointing to something on a map is not going to actually get you there. So, again, Survivor is an important show. Um, Israel, Israel is full of Jewish people. Um... Wow, we don't even know how many people there are in our country. It's actually closer to 350 million now, but this was 2002. Um, okay. Yeah, and you know why it's not valued in schools? Because it's stupid. Ah, uh, sure you do. 
Gambia? Nigeria? You realize those are in Africa, right? Uh, Iceland's kind of cool. Norway. Norway's like, but you're in Norway already, right? Sweden and Norway are really the same country. Finland, also the same country. Uh, Canada, fictitious. Australia, really far away. New Zealand, same as Australia. Nepal. Nepal is like the most elevated country in the world. Okay, guys. Um... Unless you want to distract me again, and I welcome you to do it. In fact, I encourage you to do it. I am going to go ahead and raid Alien Bridge. And then I'm going to see if I can help her with uh, some of her homework or annoy the crap out of her, which is more likely. So, I think I do have to... Oh, you can say raid. Uh, can you say... So you can host or raid. All right. Yeah, yeah, but Africa kind of sucks, because it's all African and stuff. All right, I'm going to be raiding Alien Bridge. Yeah, I got a completion on that one. One viewer? Oh, there we go. for the phone. 